Hello, what is up? My name is Vincent, and uh, I I said I wouldn't be doing a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh content on this channel unless I felt like I could bring something unique to the video. So, that being said, I haven't really heard anyone else talk about this when it comes to the Ghost from the Past uh, set, which is you know Konami's latest Yu-Gi-Oh set. And truth be told, I should have probably done this video before uh, before now because it's it's probably it's not as new or as fresh as it could have been but I really had just been thinking on this and I haven't seen anyone else talk about it in this way like I've seen some people come out and say it's not the best product I've seen people just overall seem fairly dissatisfied with this which that is something that's been shared um, but the it, what exactly I'm going to talk about um, comes from my you know knowledge from other card games and seeing what other game design companies have done and what they would probably do with this product and something that I think that most Yu-Gi-Oh players would be excited for and would really appreciate. Uh, so with that being said, um, Ghost from the Past. Uh, the packaging looks amazing. The name's amazing. It has Dark Magician, Blue Eyes White Dragon, some classic favorites. You know, we're right at the 20 year mark for Yu-Gi-Oh! So nostalgia's hitting big for a lot of us. And I think it's perfect packaging, you know, goes from the past and you hear that name, you think of, you think of some of the OG cards, you think of, you know, Dark Magician and, and Blood's White Dragon and, and some other of the classic monsters. And you also think of Ghost Rares if you're familiar with those. And so I think really where Konami messed this one up for me personally is I feel like it should include a Ghost Rare in every pack. And if that means that they would have to make the packs more expensive, if the packs have more value to to them, if the cards are more rare or whatever it may be, that's okay. I actually think that's fine. I would rather have the packs be guaranteed awesomeness for more money than have it be like it, it's like a decent amount of money and you might not get anything you want. You know, that's that's where the that's where the bummer comes from. That's where the lack of enthusiasm and excitement comes from. I think having a little bit more of a guarantee. And now you could have. I, I think there should actually be much more ghost rares. So like, there there should be. That way you could still have the dark magician and the blue eyes white dragon. You could still have those be chases. You could still have those be you know maybe even harder to find ultra ghost rare or something. I don't know. I know people don't really like having the rarities that tiered off and then having things short printed things like that. I understand that, but. You could have enough ghost rares to where you're not, even though you're guaranteed to get a ghost rare, you're not guaranteed to get the highly sought after ones. And I, I feel like they could do like a ghost rare Jinzo and like other, you know, classic cards that are super cool. Um, even a ghost rare like Cyber Dragon and stuff, like all those to include in the Ghost of the Past, I feel like is a no brainer. Like that should have been done. Also, you know, uh, I feel like if they had done it where there's a small chance you get a ghost pack, which is just a pack full of nothing but ghost rares. Now, granted, a very small chance, but just imagine how hype it would be. Say, hey, you can go for these Ghost on the Past boxes. You're guaranteed a ghost a ghost rare from every single pack in the set. Um, but you could also get ghost packs, so you're just filled with these different cards. I just feel like that'd be awesome. And as someone who is, uh, as they call it, Yugi Boomer, I guess, um, a lot of the cards in the set are, I'm not familiar with. I'm not sure how old those cards are, but you know they, they're they're definitely showing off very classic cards on the packaging. But inside the packs, it doesn't feel like classic cards, you know. So I feel like that that's something that bums me out personally. From what I understand, the 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 cards in the set aren't even super old, but they aren't even new in the sense that people necessarily want them now. There, they seem to be some cards that people want, which I think it's fine. You can have new cards in the Ghost from the Past set. You can have newish cards. You can have cards that are newer, that are highly sought after. Perfectly fine with that. I'm just saying that I think really where they missed, where they dropped the ball on this is they needed to guarantee a Ghost Rare in every pack, even if that affected the price. I think that's fine. And then have Ghost Packs so you have the full thing. You know, I just, that, if, if that's your selling point of the set then you need to have it you know similar if they were going to drop like a harpy lady set then you should be guaranteed at least one harpy lady card per pack you open that's just how it should be that's the way i feel like it should be and i feel like konami needs to go into that direction because coming from other card games and wanting to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh, this is something that i think is off-putting i 
want to love Yu-Gi-Oh! I want to love Konami. I want to love what they're doing. So this isn't meant to be a, as much of a dig at Konami and what they're doing as much as just saying like, here's my personal take. Hopefully other people share this personal take. And if we do, we can hopefully make these products better in the future. So that's just my stance on it. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. And if you are excited about an idea for a Yu-Gi-Oh! tabletop RPG, we have rules for that that you can check out. They're absolutely free. And we also have an awesome Discord where we have a Yu-Gi-Oh! channel and uh, we have some anime channels and video game channels, tabletop channels, all that fun stuff. And we have over 500 members. It's a lot of fun. We'd love to have you there. So be sure to check that out in the description below as well. And as always, stay awesome. I have no choice. It's time to save the world. <laughs>